Hello. Today, I'd like to talk about the Advent candle of joy. People have pursued joy in every imaginable avenue. Uh, some have successfully found it, while others have not. Perhaps it would be easier to describe where joy cannot be found. Not in unbelief. Voltaire was an infidel of the most pronounced type. He, he wrote, I wish I had never been born. Not in pleasure. Lord Byron lived a life for pleasure if anyone did. He wrote, the worm, the canker, and grief are mine alone. Not in money. Jay Gold, the American millionaire, had plenty of that. When dying, he said, I suppose I am the most miserable man on earth. Not in position and fame. Lord Beaconsfield enjoyed most, his, more than his share of both. He wrote, youth is a mistake. Manhood is a struggle. Old age is a regret. Not in military glory. Alexander the Great conquered the known world in his day. Having done so, he wept in his tent before he said, there are no more worlds to conquer. Where then is real joy found? The answer is simple, in Christ alone. As a third century man was anticipating death, he penned these last words to a friend. He said, it's a bad world, an incredibly bad world. But I have discovered in the midst of it a quiet and holy people who have learned a great secret. They have found a joy which is a thousand times better than any pleasure of our sinful life. They are despised and persecuted, but they don't care. They are masters of their souls. They have overcome the world. These people are Christians. And he said, I am one of them. There was a conference in a Presbyterian church in Omaha. People were given helium-filled blues and told to release them at some point in the service when they felt like expressing joy in their hearts. Since they were Presbyterians, they weren't free to say hallelujah or praise the Lord. All through the service, balloons ascended, but when it was over, one-third of the balloons were unreleased. Let your balloon go. In January 1997, British yachtsman Tony Bullimore was southern, sailing in the, in the southern oceans. The waves were reaching the height of a five-story building. And they rushed in on him with a sound like roaring thunder, and his, his lot plummeted down the face of a wave. It hit something submerged in the water and turned upside down. For four long days, Tony survived until late Wednesday night when a plane located him and dropped an electronic probe next to his lap. And the rescuers came. Tony Bullimar learned the power of hope. It was his hope of being rescued that drove him to be to survive and it was the fulfillment of hope that brought him such joy that he, that he had a new perspective on life. In the same way, the gospel promises more than hope to all of us, particularly to us, those of us who have accepted Jesus and rest assured of his promise of eternal life. It offers us assurance that a time will come when the rescuer will arrive. We have that assurance. The, rescue, the rescuer will arrive and release the world from all pain and suffering. You see, we don't have to, we don't have to hope for rescue. We know that rescue is coming. Looking forward to that rescue can give us as much joy as the final rescue itself brings. God bless and keep you during this Advent season. Amen. Enjoy.